welcome to uh, Sip, Knit, and Travel. Yes. Um, I'm Tanika. This is Mary. <laughs> is that how we're going to start? I'm Mary. I guess I'm on a third person cake right now. <laughs> this, is, this is Tanika. <laughs> That's Mary. <laughs> oh, okay. You can find uh, me on Ravel on Instagram. We'll start with Instagram. <laughs> I'm at Tanika Knits 2, and that's Tanika Knits and the number 2. And you can find me on Instagram as well at Mary Knits 2. That's Mary Knits and the number 2. Yeah, and you can find me on Ravelry at Tanika 2. <laughs> She'll put it at the bottom. <laughs> Molly. I was, I was on a kick, guys. Molly7941. Yeah, she said she was on a kick, but she only got it once. Okay. The last yeah. one. The I rest just, of them. Yeah. Win some, you lose some. That's true. I'll have it next time, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you have any questions or you have any comments about the drinks we've made or you've made your own or you yes. want to just message us, you can contact us. You could either message us below mm -hmm. or you could contact us via email at yeah. sipknittravel, that's all one word, at gmail.com. Correct. And that'll also be at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah. So please, feel free. Yeah. yeah. Come or along, even, chat with us. Yeah. Give us advice. Yeah. Like us, tell us you like our show. We yeah. If there's a drink you want us to make, that is we well. could do it. Um if you have a question about drinks, yes. We're here to help as much as we can. Question about knitting, question about our travels, anything really. So yeah, yeah. hit us up. What she said. That's what she said. Oh Lord, it's one of those days. <laughs> All right. So cheers. Yes, cheers. Can you tell we're in a good mood today? I know. Yep. Already sipped a little. Oh, uh -huh. Huh. I mean, you have to try the drinks, right? I know, you know, right? And then you have to do taste tests along the way to make sure that right. they're the way you want them. It's kind of like cooking, only not. You have to taste your way through. Yeah, so today <laughs> we're drinking gin and tonic. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a little something. It's like an orange blossom gin mm -hmm. that we used. And we also used Hendrix gin. Correct. And um, the orange blossom flavored gin is from edinburgh gin um distillery distillery in edinburgh scotland. scotland yeah so since we're drinking this we're gonna go ahead and talk about edinburgh in yeah. our trip so yes go we, ahead oh well i guess i'm gonna go ahead so we took a uk trip and so we spoke about ireland and so now we're gonna speak about edinburgh and it's in scotland as you know and we spent about two days there. Um, it was really nice. It was really fun. Of course, we love scotch and we love gin. So, of course, we had to hit up some distilleries. And we'll put some of that information below if you'd like. Um, so you can, like, visit their page. I think some of them actually uh, ship to the States and uh, things like that. They have all different flavors. And we did a lot. We walked around town. What was the name of the, what was Victoria Street? Yeah. And so that was really fun. We looked at the shops. Um, the weather was beautiful. There was a castle on the hill and we're a bit out of shape. So we yeah. didn't, we walked up to it or very close to it, but we didn't like tour it. I mean, the, the castle is like the main feature <laughs> of Edinburgh. So I it mean, is. Like, you, you will see the castle. Yeah. We walked around it. We did. We didn't and walk up to it. No, but the castle is gorgeous. It was beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. It, yeah. I believe they offered tours that probably would have taken a few hours and we were there for a short period of time. So we chose to spend our time, um, doing other things but go ahead yeah. Tanika yeah so we went to the Edinburgh gin distillery and I found out about it because one of my friends had went there for a wedding and me and her are gin drinkers and um she makes like all different types of simple syrup and I make them too and then like we'll switch or whatever <laughs> but anyways she went on the trip and she tried the gin she had found it tried it and she brought me back an entire bottle of like this rhubarb uh, flavored gin from Edinburgh gin and it was it was really sweet um, she didn't even have to do that but uh, she brought it back for me because she knew how much I love gin and she's like this is great you'll love it you got to try it <laughs> um, and I, I like shared it with my my mom my sister my friends family and, and my dad and they all were like wow this is really good so mm -hmm. we had to make it a point that when we went to Edinburgh we had to stop at that gin distillery and they had when we got there they had like so many other flavors they had the orange blossom which is what we're drinking they had an apple 
apple spice. Yep, apple and spice. Yeah, which is also really good. We have that in the cabinet. <laughs> um, and then they have like the the Edinburgh like straight strong strength gin. Um, I have that one as well. Uh, but yeah, so we just made it a point to go and. But also the funny thing about that in the gin is our mom. She drinks, but she's not like an avid drinker. She'll drink like seriously every once in a while. But when my sister brought this gin over to share, my mom was just like, oh, it's so good. Oh, this root barb is nice. And so essentially my sister didn't get her bottle back. So my mom like took it over. So yeah, we definitely had to make it a point to go there. And she yeah. bought like a couple bottles while we were there. So yeah. it was super cute and super fun. Yeah. Cause she just, I mean, it's very rare that she'll like take to a drink or like liquor um, that quickly. So yeah, and I, I mean, she was gonna take it home, and I was like, no, it was a gift. <laughs> that stays, is true. It stays here, <laughs> but you know, I'll make sure that I have some available whenever you come. Yeah, and um, so whenever she's over at my sister's house, she's like, "Where's the rhubarb?" Yeah, she's like, "I need my little cute glass." <laughs> So extra. <laughs> That's our mom. <laughs> yeah. So when we got there, we had to make a point to stop yeah. so she can shop and get hers because, like Mary said, that was the first time she really took to gin, yeah, um, a liquor and a flavored one, and she was just like, "I love this. Mm -hmm. um, I like it mixed with things." Yes. Uh, but yeah, so she loved it. But also, while we were in Edinburgh, we. Uh, took a private tour. Oh, so right. Yes. We hired a private driver because we realized that on the trip, we were only going to be in Edinburgh for a couple days and it wasn't very much, but we wanted to make sure we were able to see all the sites that we wanted to right. see. So we knew when we went to Edinburgh that we wanted Jen, we wanted to see Victoria Street. Yeah. And we wanted to go to Scotch uh, distilleries. distilleries. Yeah. And so I felt like the best way, or we felt like the best way to do it was to hire a private driver because, again, there was seven of us. Right. And so it was just, it, it was a lot to try to, you know, what were we going to do? Try to take an Uber? Or a taxi. Or a taxi. Yeah. And it's tight with seven people, so it was easier and it's cheaper. It was cheaper for us just to hire a driver, make sure they have a car or vehicle van that fits all of us, mm -hmm. and then divide that by seven. Right. So it was, it was fairly reasonably priced for the amount of people that we had and plus doing it that way you kind of have more control on where you go yep. and you can kind of talk through with the driver who's most likely a local person and can like offer advice stage yeah. advice on what you should see um tours traps things that you know all of those things so yeah so when I, I, he was really cool he was so when i was coordinating with him he asked me what we wanted to see and where we wanted to go mm -hmm. and i didn't have the only place that we had specific was st andrews yes. golf course because we wanted to hit some golf balls yes and then um we said we wanted to make sure that we hit a couple dis uh, scotch distilleries and i was like at least two but if you could fit more in we're game yes um and so he took us to um, this one place called Edwarder. Yes. And I'm sure I'm saying it incorrectly. But, um, and that one had really good scotch. It did. And, and they took us on a tour. We got like little samples. We got the background information. By little samples, she means lots of samples. <laughs> yeah, it, it was like three different types of yes. scotch that they had. And one was like a, a, like a cream. Yep. It oh was my really goodness. good. All of them. Yes. Yeah. And then we went on the tour of how they make it, how they store it, where they store it, and like their process. And like it had like a little creek. It was really pretty. Uh, very it picturesque. Was. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so after that, they so we bought um, a couple bottles of scotch, and we'll have to show you those a little bit later. But um, yeah, so we bought some of that, and then we went to lunch in like a little town. Yes. Oh my goodness, it was amazing. The restaurant, it looked like a pub though. Yeah. But the food, like their food game was actually really good. I got this pasta, and it was like spicy, it was creamy, and it was a chicken pasta. And oh my goodness, it was actually one of the better pastas that I've had. I don't, I'm pretty sure I probably got fish and chips. <laughs> yes. That I was, don't know. Or maybe was it was a burger. It was one of the two. Right. I think dad probably got a meat pie. Yes. Our probably. dad was really like into the meat pies or the, um. He was. I've had meat pie. Shepherd's I, pie. Shepherd's pie is good. I had a meat pie when I was in London and it, I was not a huge fan. 
but that's a different story. Um, but yeah, so I I got I think I got fish and chips, which were really good. But the food was really good there. It was really and good. The Surprisingly atmosphere was well. really cool. Yeah, it was laid back. Yeah. They yeah, we got beers. Like I mean, yeah, it was a pub, so we got local beers, which was really amazing. Yeah. Um yeah, it was and just a really great it was in a cute city too. Right. Like well, you could walk the town. Yeah. And so as small as the town was, right. I'm surprised at how packed that restaurant got. Right. Right. Um, yeah. And they were just really cool laid back. And so, yeah, I had yep. a great time. But for those of you who don't know, so St. Andrews is, is named to be one of, if not the oldest golf course in the, in the world. And, um, so our dad is like an avid golfer and we like yeah. to go and slap balls around. Um, I'm I mean, not that good. <laughs> She's, yeah, she's better. Well, I'm, not that I'm not that fabulous. I haven't played in in a while, but um, yeah. So we we all like it was near and dear to us to kind of try to make that happen for him at least. Yeah, so he could at least say he's, right. he's played on, and he's actually walked the course. Yeah, we got to walk the course. We did. We got to walk the course. We got to go to the driving range and and hit some balls, and and so it was really fun. The course is beautiful. Yeah. the people were really nice. Yep. Um, we met a soon to be professional golfer. So that was fun. Like, yeah, it was just really, it was a nice trip. It was really fun. Yeah. It's also, uh, the place where I guess William and Kate went to school. Oh, didn't um, know that. And so we drove by the school, but I mean, had no idea. Where is she? <laughs> where is she going? But I mean, you know, Hey, obviously <laughs> just pointing that out. For yeah. anybody that might be interested. Yeah. Um, cool. I didn't but, know that. But yeah, so after that, we went to a different uh, Scotch place. It wasn't really that good. Um, <laughs> I can't remember the name, but I will look it up, and I will also have it on the screen below. And I'll put it in the notes below. She um, just sold it, didn't she, guys? I know. It wasn't it, really that good. It wasn't really that good. <laughs> <laughs> it was all right. But I still feel like it's worth mentioning because my tastes may not be the same as yours. That's true. And so what I like, you know, like some people like really um, smoky, peaty whiskeys mm -hmm. and scotches. And I like a hint, but not a whole lot. Right. Um, yeah. So that was that was Edinburgh. Did we did we miss anything? We did also walk around the newer part of the city. Right. Um, I don't remember that that much, though. Yeah, and I mean, it was it was really nice. It was pretty, That's though. Pretty. Yeah, yeah, so we'll have pictures up in here. You'll yeah. see them. Those I have. <laughs> um, so we'll, we'll include those so you can see. And you'll see saw. the castle that we didn't go through. Yeah. <laughs> or walk up to. I really, yeah, I really kind of wanted to, but I didn't. I was really tired. Right. We wanted to, but we weren't committed to do it. Yeah. And so I think we kind of teetered with it amongst the group, but no one was like, take charge like yeah I want to do that so it kind of just fell by the wayside and we all kind of like marveled in its glory but uh no one was willing to go up that mountain and you'll yeah. see what we're talking about in the picture oh and we also did the royal mile so we walked the royal mile which is like the the walkway up to the castle oh right and yes. so they have like a lot of shops and stuff along that line too so they do it was really pretty it was really cool and we actually yeah. kind of like happened upon it we were walking and we were like what's right. this but it was really nice. Right. Um, right. But our hotel was like right by Victoria Street. Mm -hmm. It was at the bottom of the street. And it was like across from some like, like the smallest pub in, oh, yeah. in England or I in the forgot. UK. I forgot, yeah. And it's like really like, like three people can fit. Yeah, in it is. Yeah, the bartender and two people, <laughs> basically. So we but. had to take turns, like going in the pub and then exiting because it's the smallest pub. Yeah. So if and I have so, pictures, I'll put them. Yeah, in too, I totally forgot about that. That was funny. Yeah. yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, so that was our trip. Yeah. And now we'll go into our whips, our works in progress. Yes. So um, I guess I'll go first. Okay, that works. All right. So. What I have been working on is a couple things. One, it's a new design that I'm going to do, so I'm only going to show you guys the back of the sock because I just love the yarn <laughs> and the color contrast, the little pop of color. I, I love it. So the yarn is by Magpie Fibers, and it's a swanky sock, and it's Tupelo colorway. And then the heel, what I'm going to do for the heel and the toe, it's uh, Explore Knits and Fibers from her... 2020 advent calendar the nature one and of course it's being held in my hoagie <laughs> fanny oh, 
Oh, that's her jam. Yeah. <laughs> the next thing I'm working on kind of goes in line with the uh, Edinburgh. I'm working on the muscle bra hat. Uh, this is the one that I talked about last episode where my dad basically took it over. This is about as far as I am. I love that color. Um, I love the color. I love the yarn. I love mm -hmm. the knits. Um, the Progress Keeper is by Hello Lavender Designs. And yeah, so I'm just working along on this for my dad. And it's also in my So Crazy Crafter bag. Own it! <laughs> um, so yes, that's where it's housed. <laughs> and the yarn is uh, Yarn Cafe Creations. Colorway is Slate. Yeah. It's really pretty. And it's, um, I think it might be her biscotti sock. I'll put that on there because I don't remember. <laughs> All right. And do you want to go? And then I'll do my last one. <sighs> okay, guys. So, I don't know. If Sorry. <laughs> She's over here dropping stuff. Um, but so I mentioned, I think about two shows back that maybe three, it might be three. I said about that's approximate. <laughs> um, anyway, I was rounding down. Um, so <laughs> trying to give myself a little more time guys. So I talked about my sweater, right? And how I wasn't going to show it until it was complete. So with that being said, you know, earlier in the show, we were like, please give us comments. So Obviously, so we received some comments that, you know, people still wanted to see my my progress on my sweater and not just be surprised when it's done. So, you know, I'm going to honor those requests and I'm going to show you how far I've gotten. And so it's not as bad as you think. I think I can still have it done before the next show. We'll see, though. Yeah, um, she said before the end of April, so we right. still, it's April 23rd. It's kind of close. And, I mean, I don't know if this is going to be posted before <laughs> May, because I'm going to try my best, but we'll see. We'll um, see. If not, I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll see, see it anyway. You'll see it, yeah. yeah, so, um, basically, let me talk about, so, it's the Spellman uh, sweater by Tristan Molina, and I also used her yarn, um, which mm, is called, no, you, no, you didn't. I didn't. I have the name. Hold on. She's right. I didn't. It's Hazelnut. My apologies. And it is Hazelnut's Lively DK. And the color is Heartthrob. So that's the yarn I'm actually using. Here's the color. It's gorgeous. I love it. I mean, it's beautiful. And I think it goes really well with the pattern. I love the yarn. Um, so yes, that's what that is. And then here we go, guys. This is how far I've gotten. So, sorry, I'm trying to fix it so you, it actually looks like a sweater. So, I basically completed, <laughs> can you believe this? <laughs> Most of the body, I basically have about 10 rows left. It's um, not even a tank. <laughs> it's not a, a it's, <laughs> it's a real sweater, guys. <laughs> It's an actual sweater that will cover my stomach right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's longer than a tank right now or a crop top. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's actually looking like a sweater. I'm basically done with the, um, with the body. I'm just finishing the ribbing right now, and then I'm going to move on to the sleeves. And so once I complete both of the sleeves, then I'll basically be done. So I'm getting there. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's still really exciting, and I honestly still enjoy knitting it. Like, usually by now, because I have a short attention span at times, I'm, like, bored, and I'm like, okay, what's next? And then this is how I get in that loop where I don't finish things. But, like, I'm so excited to see this done. Like, I'm just trying to own it and complete it. So be patient with me here. I'm, I'm showing the sweater. So that's how far I've gotten, guys. She's on the hem. I'm on the almost hem. Done. Yeah, I'm almost done with the ribbing. So I just basically have the sleeves to get done. And then we'll be golden. And then we'll have to shoot our next show maybe in a freezer or something. So yeah. I can put it on and wear it. Or turn on the air conditioner. <laughs> or turn on the air conditioner. Uh, I will do that for you. <laughs> yeah, because the weather, I mean, it's not necessarily appropriate. To wear a sweater right now, so you can wear whatever you want. But. What, are you, what is your bet, uh, sweater stored in? My sweater is stored. Who would ask me that? 
She's always putting me on the spot, guys. I love this bag. It's the Hohe bag. And the color is cranberry, but I don't remember what the... It's what, a forage The bag. forage bag. Thank you. But yes, I love it. And this is currently housing my sweater. And a few shows ago, I don't know, you saw my sister like gifted it to me. So yeah, I'm loving this bag. It's beautiful. It's starting to patina a little bit. So I'm super excited about that too. Like it's just so handy. I pick it up, I grab it, I go, da, da, da. see it's dancing with me. And so yeah, love it. I, yeah, no complaints. Bag it dances. Is beautiful. It was worth it. <laughs> Does it tango? Does it tango? Argentine, Argentine tango. tango. Yeah. yeah, that works. <laughs> I can see that. But Tanika. Um, <laughs> so I have started a swatch. So I'm really it's not a whip, it's like um it's like a pre-whip. But I'm swatching a pre -whip. I wanna I wanna knit a pinguono. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna gather all my yarn from previous projects or most of my yarn from previous projects. And I've weighed majority of the colors that I, I came up with. And so now I'm just swatching the yarn to make sure I hit gauge so I can make the pinguono by Stephen West. Um, I do want it to be like crazy but organized. So um, yeah, we'll have to figure that out. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to place the colors and things like that. So that's what I'm working on. But right now I'm just in the beginning stage. And yes, I am going to swatch for this specifically because... Um, it's it's very important to make sure that I just want to make sure that it fits and I don't want to do all that work and find out it doesn't fit because then I'll be disappointed with myself so and I'm excited to see the sweater when it's done because I think it's gonna be like an awesome project yeah I'm excited and it looks like really cozy and warm yeah. and something I could just throw on and lounge in or throw on in if I want to go out um, it's really quick and easy right so and I, I might have to jock her and do one after but you know mine will be much further down the line <laughs> But I'll be excited to see it. Yeah, me too. Yay. I'm excited. Yay. So, uh, finished objects. Oh, I didn't talk about my socks. Oh, I'm sorry. We're still on whips. So, I forgot I had socks that I started. But I did show them in the last video. So, it's not super exciting because um, story, guys. I have not made any progress because I mistakenly left my socks at my parents' house and I wasn't willing to drive back here to get my socks. A bit of laziness there. I tell you, this whole staying at home situation. Um, but I'm just as far as I was last time, so I'll show you that. And that's basically this far. There's She's a like little the toe. bit of the toe. I'm doing toe <laughs> up. <laughs> really? I don't even know what I'm to say. I'm doing toe up. You can maybe fit a pinky toe in there. It might wrap it around. No, not the pinky toe. The nail? It'll, maybe. <laughs> the toes can set on the area. Uh, okay. But anyway, I'm not that far, but I hope to get a little further. I actually think the break was good because... Me and Socks, we've had a love-hate relationship. And I'm beginning to feel like I love them again. So I'm excited, actually, again, for these socks. So I think it was probably a much-needed break between us. You know what I mean? You know how you, like, break up, you take some time, then you come back and you're stronger than ever? Just saying. Maybe that's she, what's She brought happening. this to, like, a relationship. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. If not... You're, you're pretty lucky or not lucky, I guess. Um, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter, really. But, yeah. I have it in my knitting bag. Yep. So, and, oh, go ahead. So Crazy Crafter. Yes. And it's if I'm sitting, I'm knitting. And I thought it was super cute. And, yeah, that's housing my socks currently. And so that's what it's in. Yep. All right. So now we're on finished objects. Yes, now we're on finished objects. Okay, well, it's object, <laughs> singular, and it's me. Right, because you guys didn't already know that. So, <laughs> I finished my Kiora shawl by Tammy Gore, and the yarn is Lola Bean, Lola Bean Yarn Co. 
Oh, that's so pretty. And again, the darker red color is red currant. It actually goes with what I'm wearing today. It does. And the lighter pink color is peach blossom. Mm -hmm. And I just, I've washed it. I've blocked it. I'm ready to rock it. Ra yes. <laughs> washed it, blocked it, ready to rock it. Yeah, yeah. we'll rock with that. I like that. <laughs> I'm about to put it on right now, but I wanted to show you guys my entire... We're about to go step in the freezer so she can put it on. I'm just going to put it on here and burn up. Do you see like beads of sweat coming right. down? You know right. why. But, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It is really pretty. Um, I love it. I just, I love everything about it. Those colors go really nicely together, too. And they go so good on my skin. Someone's modest. She's not someone. <laughs> I'm someone. I think I'm aware like that. Do you? Are you okay? You all, okay. You all cozy and I'm whatnot? Cozy. You're ready? <laughs> now that she's okay. I'm good. So, I'm so happy I finished it. I love it so much. Um, yeah. And it smells like yarn cafe latte. Ooh, even lovelier. Yeah. So... Love it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess I'm thanking myself for knitting it <laughs> and washing and blocking it. There you go. Give yourself there a pat on the back. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yep. So we did our whips, new items. You want to go first? New purchases. Oh, mm, new yes. purchases? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You new go. purchases. You're right. Because remember, guys, I said I can't buy anything new until I'm done with my sweater. So that's also what's probably pushing me forward because, you know, I'm feeling thirsty. She wants to buy stuff. <laughs> I do want to buy stuff. I see so all the lovely thirsty. stuff. <laughs> so I so I bought Explore Knits and Fibers had a sale. She's actually having a sale this upcoming weekend. But, I mean, by the time this is posted, it will have already passed. So please disregard. I apologize. <laughs> Anyways. So, Explore Knits and Fibers had a sale of in-stock items that she had extra of. And I wanted just, like, something different. And I wanted to make more socks. So, I got her sweater weather and velvet in Denali sock. Beautiful. And I love the colors. I love the speckles. I just like the contrast in it. It's very... Mine. What? That one. No, this is mine. You didn't get anything from yes, there. Yes, I did. I got one. Those not, are mine. Not here. No. <laughs> this is mine. So, this is all mine. This is what I got. Sweater weather. It's a sock <laughs> kit. <laughs> and I'm keeping it forever because it's my favorite color, which is purple. But it's like it's like a royal, like a darker purple. And so, it's... it's yeah. So, then... Since she's like not able to buy anything, um, Woolberry Fiber Co. had a sale and they were selling, I want to say it was like the Hobbit sock. Well, they were selling yarn. And so we went through and uh, figured out what colors we wanted. So for me, yay, yay, yay. my colorway <laughs> is the Prophecy. Ooh, the Prophecy. And this is my sock kit. Is mine called the Oracle? Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> Clearly, it wasn't mine. She wanted that one, so I got it for her, but this one's mine. Is the She's prophecy. right. Oh, my goodness. I was just being facetious. Forgive me. Mine is actually called Eye of Sauron, S-A-U-R-O-N. And it's obvious, I guess, that we haven't watched this show yet, but it doesn't stop us from you know supports. Is it the Hobbit? Hobbit? No, what's the other one? Game of Thrones. Is, is Game, of, Game Thrones? of Thrones? I don't know, guys. I we'll should, figure it out. Maybe I'll do that. I mean, it's not that it's not on our list to watch. We're just watching. We like, we have a list of things to watch. Mm. I mean, oh, Game of Thrones. Yeah. yeah, but I don't think this is Game of Thrones. But it could, I don't think so. Is it The Witcher? No, it's not The Witcher. It's I think it's I think it is like The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings. Those are The Prophecy? Yeah, there's a lot of shows with The Prophecy in it now. Well, true. Like on other stuff, but like The Eye or something. I don't know. We'll Anyways, it's figure really not it that out. big of a deal. It's, it's yarn. Not, we bought it. At the least colors are pretty. Join us for our thought process and figuring things out. Not I mean clearly um, it was hers cuz I was already over it. <laughs> 
That's true. But mine's called the Eye of Sauron. And you guys who are watching, you probably know exactly what this is from. And you're like, it's from blah, blah, blah. And you can put that in the notes, yeah, the comments below. Yeah, that would below, be great. Or message us and say, hey, it's from this. Yeah. But anyway, this color is gorgeous. I don't, and they complement each other very well. It's actually pretty brilliant how she did that. It's grayish. But they're like hints of orange, which bring out the orangish color. And I think it's really pretty. I'm excited. Yeah, and see mine has the green and yeah. the brown and like the just the speckles. It's really pretty. That is. So thank you, Tanika. You're welcome. Since she can't buy yarn, I'm I guess her yarn buyer. I guess after I'm done with my sweater, I'll have to get her a few gifts, huh guys? And the last thing I bought <laughs> is for her. What? Oh my goodness, and it's not even my birthday yet. Let's just make sure my I just didn't. I'm not. I was up. just flipping it over. Because I did that last time. Let's see. Oh my goodness! Harry Potter from the So Craft. So Crazy Crafter. So Crazy Crafter. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I can't read today. From Actually, I do have an idea, but you know, we're not going to share that. From Vita. From Vita, yes. Yeah. So it's so funny. Thank you, Tanika. You're welcome. When we got our bags, I like went on her website and I was like, oh my goodness, Tanika, she has like all these new bags. And I was like, I don't know if I should get one. And so my sister, who's so sweet, many times, you know. Sometimes. Yeah, we'll say like 30% of the time. I'm kidding. Maybe. And on a good day. <laughs> on a good day. She must have gone online and got it for me. So that's so sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. And it was their last one because I would have yeah. gotten new one. Aww. The inside. Oh, cool. So even the inside, I don't know if you guys can see that one. It's the Marauder's Map. Yeah, the Marauder's Map because I am up to no good sometimes. All the time. Yeah. And so now it'll have to house one of my other projects. I'm super excited. Love it. Thank you. You're welcome. Yay. So. I'm glad you like that. Gifts are merry. <laughs> <laughs> She's really got issues. <laughs> Maybe two. Maybe. <laughs> um, okay, so last but not least is life. Um, the weather is getting better. It's yes. starting to warm up. Although, again, I think... So we had a little bout of cold where it dropped, I think yesterday it dropped to like the 30s. Yeah, it was pretty, Maybe it was the day before it was 30s. Pretty chilly. Yeah, yesterday I really had to even wear, bring out my, my jacket and my hat. I had to kick up um, my heat. I was, I was just like freezing in my house. Yeah, and then I got a freeze warning for last night. Wow, I didn't know but, that. Okay. Yeah, I was not happy. Anyways, <laughs> so to think, it went from 30s, like 30s to 50s yesterday, and today it's back up in like the 40s to the 60s. Yeah. But on Tuesday, guys, it's supposed to go to the 80s. Yeah. It's still spring. Where are my 60s and 70s? That's all I'm looking for. I think they're in a mountain somewhere. I don't know. They're not here, but I'm really, <laughs> I was really disappointed when I saw that on the screen where they said, next week temperature's sunny and 80. I was yeah. like, 80? When did we go from like 30 to 30 to 80 in a week? Now, we're not complaining, but one wonders. I'm kind of complaining because <laughs> I want spring, and I like my 60s and 70s. Like, that's yeah. why I love fall because yeah. you get a good amount of time of, like, 60s, 70s, 50s. And there's, like, that comfortable nip in the air yes. where you can, like, walk around and not get, like, burning up, but also not, like, shiver me timbers at yeah. the same time. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I was really hoping for that this spring, but I'm not going to get it. You you may have a day here and there. Yeah, maybe. I think today it would probably, probably. be Probably, yeah. So, we're excited for the weather to get a little warmer. Yep. We can um, get out a little bit more. Yes. Uh, yes. Alex go to wineries. Go to wineries. Alexandria yeah. is by the water. So, Old Town, they have like farmer's markets on Saturdays. Yep. So, I want to get out and go to those. I, although, they still technically have them. I just don't get out <laughs> Because it's cold. <laughs> now I'm walk in the cold. Right. Um, and then... <laughs> and I walk in the cold. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's real. But, yeah. <laughs> also, so, any other lives for you before I go into I mean, life? I enjoy summer because, well, I get to grill summer drinks. 
people are more active and I mean we're under an unusual situation right now with COVID however hopefully it'll get better and you know at least you can enjoy each other you know you're six to eight feet away outside playing telephone or just get you some walkie talkies and pretend like you're right next to each other so I'm excited for that um yes grilling i love grill grilled food oh my goodness it's like awesomeness to me summer drinks it's good to wineries me. yeah wineries We've said awesome that. yeah it's so great i had to say it twice that's, that's <laughs> but yeah so yeah. i'm i'm excited for the weather to come i'm just excited to be alive i feel very blessed so yeah we're okay. gonna take it to nika yeah so <laughs> life so i showed you guys this a while ago but my socks these are the road trip socks by me that I made, um, I designed, and it's already, they've already been tested, um, and I am going, it is my goal, and I'm putting this on here for accountability for myself. I am going to publish that pattern, this pattern in May. I don't know what day, and it'll probably be towards the end of May. That's how we're going to work this, <laughs> because I got to give myself the most amount of time, <laughs> although I'm holding myself accountable. These are really cute. So, um, but yeah, I I do not allow myself to wear them until I publish them because hoping that that help motivates me. In this case, it really didn't. Um, and so, yeah, there are a couple tweaks that I need to do to the pattern. But other than that, um, I'm going to publish it on Ravelry at the end of May. And I'll post it on my Instagram um and then when we post when we when i come up with a date we'll have another show before then so i'll let you guys know but my goal is to have it up on ravelry and understanding that not everyone has access to ravelry i'm also looking at other platforms to house my patterns to sell and if nothing else you can just email me or message me or uh, message our sipnet travel gmail and then i'll forward you the pdf version of the pattern and then you could just like PayPal me the money. Or Venmo. Um, or PayPal, because I don't have Venmo. <laughs> and then... Um, PayPal, I guess. And then, yeah. And then mm -hmm. I'll put you in a separate folder. So uh, if I make any updates to the pattern, that you'll receive the most up-to-date version of the PDF as well. So that is my goal, and those are the workarounds that I'm working on. But I am looking for a different platform to house the patterns to sell on, on top of Ravelry. So... Yep, that's all. So by May, I will publish this pattern. And um, yeah, I'm excited. So that's all for me. Thank you. Um, other than that, uh, again, I think we've talked about everything. Do you have anything else? No. no all right. Not right now. I don't. All right. Well, please stay tuned. Watch yes. us make our cocktails. Yes. Again, it's the um, gin and tonic. Yeah. And we use the orange blossom gin from Edinburgh Gin. It's really refreshing for spring. Yeah. And I also used a different tonic. So it's like a tonica, but I think it's like by Pellegrino. And it has a citrus flavor. So that was to kind of enhance the orange blossom. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So that was it. Stay tuned to watch us make the cocktails. And yes. thank you all for joining. Cheers. Bye.